Josh Raven here with Dot Esports, joined by Yam from Renegades. Uh, we're at the last chance qualifier for E League, and uh, Renegades just destroyed uh, Flipside, really. Two 16 5 victories made it look easy. And first off, we kind of have to ask how on earth did that happen considering Flipside's recent performances? Um, I'm honestly surprised, just as surprised as you are. But I think um, uh, right now, especially just after uh, replacing Sponge and me stepping into the uh, IGL role, uh, it's going to require a lot of our own guys to have big individual games, and they did. Um, Azza and Ustilo and Rick as well had uh, all great games, and I hope they'd continue having great games. But yeah, I think it was just individual performances were great, and that's going to really need to continue for us to yeah, keep winning at least short term. Okay, now before we uh, step onto Renegades as a team and all the news that's going on around there, uh, we shall continue on with the E-League. And right now playing is going to be Virtus Pro and Gambit, I believe, yep. and you will face the winner of that game tomorrow in the semi-final of the last chance qualifier. Mm -hmm. uh, neither are really uh, a nice opponent to face, but yeah. if you had to pick one, uh, who would you rather uh, take on for that qualifier spot? I think probably VP, because I know in the past we've played VP and we've, all, we've had really close games, we've taken maps off them. And similar for Immunity, you still and Rick, when they were both in Immunity, they were, they were having really close games with them. So I think uh, VP would be a good match. I think VP, I'm looking forward to Virtus okay. Pro. You realize you did just pick the major semi finalists, right? That's but fine. We'll see. Okay. Uh, well, that's flip slide, we're also hey, top eight. Flip confident. Slide, top eight. Yeah, Very confident right. stuff <laughs> coming out there. But now we will go and talk about Renegades. Uh, obviously, Sponge did leave. Yep. That is the big news of recent. Uh, replacing him with Ricky. I mean, we'll talk about Sponge first, because it must be kind of weird. He's been on the team forever, right? That's right. It's kind of, it must be a little bit weird playing without him. It is. Um, he obviously did a lot of uh, calling. He, his IGL role was, uh, he had a big impact on what we actually did uh, mid-round. And yeah, now I'm basically, I put my hand up. I'm like, we need, we're gonna need an IGL probably, because I really wanted to get a second AWPer in the team. Before it was like just me and we didn't really have a good second AWP, so I'm like, hey, okay, we really need a secondary AWP right now, like a good one, Rick's great. And I can also pick it up now, so it's just like, hey guys, like he's keen for, you know, me calling. It could be a bit rusty at the start and stuff, but you know, I'm really keen to give it a go. And yeah, <laughs> two good wins so far, so. Yeah, it seems to be working out okay for you guys. And now, yeah. who's, who's cool is it to pick up Ricky? Was he kind of on your radar for a while once you knew that Sponge would be kind of heading out the um, door? Yeah, he was pretty much our first pick because, we, like I said, we really needed a, another AWPA and he's pretty much one of the best AWPAs in Australia at the, uh, at the moment and so yeah, it was, it was pretty easy, the decision, so. Okay, now going forward, there's kind of been a little bit of rumours going around about what you guys are going to be doing as a team. Um, staying in North America, well, what's the deal going on there? Is that still on the cards? Are you kind of planning on staying in Australia for a while? You know, what's the deal going on there, if you can talk yeah, about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, it's limited, but I can talk about some of it. But um, so after this, we will probably head back home. Um, the ESL Pro League starts, I think, mid-August or so. Um, we're gonna come back for that, definitely. It's just a matter of, yeah, finding like housing and stuff like that. Um, we are definitely gonna come back. We're gonna make that happen. So yeah, we will be back in NA, um, I guess like in a month's time or so, but yeah. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing you back. Uh, thanks very much for joining us, yeah. Cool.